Yeah, yeah, yeah. First up, we got a book. Book, 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 book. Yeah, let me hold this up and then also show it yeah. on the overhead. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Books, this is the new scratch book. And this scratch is book. this is actually kind of like the official, I mean, it's not official, but it's basically the official scratch book. Yeah. And it's really great. It's got these um, full color photos. Now we can go to the overhead. Now I'll go to the overhead? Yeah, because okay. I want to show the cover. Um, so scratch. it's really nice because it's got um, a very cartoony feel. And it's really fun. And there's like a little story. And you are learning scratch, but it's not just like a boring book. It's actually a really yeah. nice um, and easy to follow book. And it's got this character, which is like Mitch Resnick, which is kind of funny um, <laughs> for reasons I can't really explain. Um, but it also just goes through all the details of scratch. So I think if you're if you want to have a young person learn scratch, um, this is a really good companion guide for teaching them or having them learn on their yeah. own. All right. Next up, um, we the are the only U.S. distributor of the Magpie. This is the magazine of Raspberry Pi. So Magpie, yeah, yeah this is a print magazine. And yeah, and actually, I'll hold this up. So it's a big magazine. Um, <clears throat> it's a big full format magazine. Um, and there's a lot of hardware projects in it. There's some like just software projects and like how to Minecraft type yeah. projects. But there's also a lot of like hardware projects. Um, there's like advertisements for like Pibos. Yeah, it's kind of a good time. It's, it's a nice little uh, snapshot in history, and a lot of people wanted to buy it, but <laughs> it's in the UK. And so they contacted us and they said, Do you guys want to be our US uh, distributor? And we said, Yeah. And I think so, it's, it is laid out completely on a Raspberry Pi. Too, everything's right? made on the Pi. They make it, I mean, they don't print it on the Pi, but yeah. they make it, they, they use open source software that runs on Linux to do the Pi. So, um, like Pi, support Pi. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. So there's okay. like uh, all you know, like there's all the articles, FPGAs using LCDs, um, using Arduino. There's like an advertisement for Panavice. Panavice is like, look, you can hold a like, pie. Which is like, look, you can put a pie you can, you can hold into a your pie. Panavice. Which you can is hold a pie with these things. Kind of nuts, but yeah. um, okay. I don't know what you would do that for, but yeah. Next up, um, Aya was on Reddit, Ask Me Anything, and she did a whole big series of questions and answers on Reddit. If you're Reddit, Reddit fans. And I wanted uh, to uh, point folks out to that because you can uh, <clears throat> uh, check it out on our blog. There's yeah. a link to it. Um, and at the same time, we are selling the deluxe pack. Little bits deluxe. Yeah, so I'm going to go over a couple photos here. These are all the different bits. And There's this so is, many bits. Yeah, this is the deluxe pack, and it's um, really intense. This is... There's 18 bits. Yeah, this is probably one of the best gifts for young engineers that you can get. Um, yeah, do you want to hold it up? So there's, yeah, this nice box. The packaging and, is amazing. And there's um, a project book, which yeah. has all sorts of projects in it. And this is uh, this book is fantastic. <laughs> um, perfect for kids. Um, all the illustrations are gorgeous. And uh, it has all these cool projects that you can do. Hey, do you want to, like, um, maybe just go to the overhead and I'll yeah. show it really fast what, yeah. how Little Bits works? Cause in case it's... So the way it works is that there's these little um, snap-together bits. That's why they're called Little Bits. Um, hold on, let me just get into the frame. And you've got um, a 9-volt battery, which I will have to open because this is fresh out of the box. So um, the 9-volt is what provides power, and then all the bits are color-coded. So this is the power bit. So I'll plug this in. And then you can turn it on, and it's like, okay, it's on. And then you can connect it to, like, a motor. And you can kind of feel the motor rotating. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can sort of see the motor rotating. But then you're like, okay, well, maybe I don't want to, like, have the motor rotate that fast. So you can connect it through a slide dimmer, and then... And it goes faster. Oh, maybe I didn't do this right. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get a, a, um, a button. Sorry. Want to do a button? I don't think the slider. I think the bu slider. Button yeah, so then when you press it, it oh, yeah. rotates. Right and when you release, it stops. So that's a better example of that. And then there's um, a buzzer. So you can instead have something that buzzes. Wow. So there's all sorts of um, you know projects that you can do. I don't know. Maybe maybe the slider and the buzzer does something. Okay, that's annoying. Okay. <laughs> uh, so there's all these. There's like 18 little bits, and they all snap together really nicely. And you can't snap them backwards. Like they won't okay. work. So you you know you don't focus, have to worry so about that. Oh, I'm sorry. just gonna go back to us here. Okay. Well, I got to show off a couple of these bits. Yeah, and so um, um, I'm checking it out because uh, it's a really great way to learn without like any soldering, and you don't have to worry about connecting anything backwards. Yeah. Um, and everything is just analog, so you just tie it one to the other. Okay. And uh, we have a um, short video, so uh, oh, yeah? we'll play that now. Yeah, and it's the video about little bits. <laughs>
All right, so... Uh, I didn't see you. I agree. Lady Ada, I am copy the capacitor. <laughs> so, so arg. <laughs> okay. Hi. What, what be the next product? Uh, the next product is... Okay, hold on. The big capacitor. We've got a big capacitor in the store for people who need to smooth out their power requirements. This is a request for people who are using our power supplies with a lot of LEDs uh, that we sell or they're using them with servo motors. We sell uh, servo drivers that require a lot of power and sometimes they need a capacitor to smooth things out just like you, you're a smooth dude. So we've got uh, a, thank you. We've got a 4700 microfarad 10 volt capacitor so pretty much good for like almost any low voltage project. Ah, now pretty soon I'll be in a game called Moe's Resistance. It'll be available in the App Store, <laughs> and uh, you the can, Cap Store. You can. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> All right. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh, All right, right, that was new products. That was new products. <laughs>